Welcome everyone to another episode of Pay Up Sucka RC. Today I'll be showing you the third edition of my project on the WPL uh, CXD Mini. I've got everything totally primed now. All the Bondo and body putty laid nice and soft and thin. It's super soft. You can see the little dimples that I still have to cover up. All of these X's on here. I'm not sure if you can see that, but they're everywhere like polka dots on this thing. Even on the rear here where I didn't put anything, just any imperfections. They're all over this thing. Little X's where I need to go back and wet sand or put the body filler in there to get a little craters out so I can make it you know like I said I don't want to go totally perfect perfect on this um, I'd like it to be as perfect as possible but I'm not gonna go drive myself insane over it I'm gonna try to do as good as I can on it there's imperfections in places I need to get it taken care of um, and like I said I'll all of these little X's are all wet sand all this again and uh, this is the second coat of primer on this I'll go over and wet sand all of this and then any craters or dimples or holes I'll go through with my um, body putty or not the body putty but the uh, body filler <clears throat> excuse me and it's just a 3M red body filler uh, stuff works really good it's really thin it's a lot thinner than the Bondo more liquidy but still has a pretty nice viscosity to it um, I'll lay that all out in a really thin layer and then go back over it and sand it with some pretty good grit I have this right here it has all my grits in it all the way from I think 7,000 grit to 800 grit uh, in that package and I even have some 150 but anyhow that's the progress so far on the couple coats of primer on there and uh, then uh, we'll put a couple coats maybe one coat of primer back on after I get the imperfections out and we will uh, paint I have this here the Tamiya uh, what is this Tamiya metallic orange the TS 92 metallic orange that is what this is going to be this is the uh, Tamiya candy uh, what is this candy apple green or they call it uh, I don't think it's called candy apple green, but it's something in that in that realm. Um, hopefully, it has that. This orange has that same kind of shine and sheen to it. But it's coming along, and I just wanted to give you guys an update. Um, it's really looking really nice. Just uh, these little imperfections that I want to get taken care of here. The roof is like the nicest part of it, obviously, because it's the most flat of the surface. But all this is taking shape, my own shape on it. I even tested the the back rack will clip right into this. Let me show you here. It'll go right right back on, just perfect. I shaved the top the top pieces of this. So it lay flush, but all three pegs are still on the bottom. So looking forward to that. And then I have the windshield here that I have already fit inside of the the truck. I had to cut the back half of it off, and it cracked here at the top. But we, nobody will see the roof. Windshield looks good. The interior fits. I had to make some adjustments and cuts here to the interior on the back of the seats and on the front of the dash it fits nice and what else nothing else still on the 
the actual chassis, everything on that is pretty much set to go besides a little couple tweaks here and there. Otherwise, I'm making good progress. And I hope you guys keep watching because next video, this thing should be... Either I'm going to do a video of my progress of all of the imperfections done and have a couple coats of primer on this. Or it's going to be the final video of what the metallic orange looks like and it on the chassis itself but I think I still got a couple more videos on this I think it's gonna be a a quad uh, project uh, video updates so stay tuned and like and subscribe thanks guys